uh, today's chap uh, chapter, book of Isaiah, chapter 52, 7 to 9. It's a really famous chapter. Uh, you may hear or, or you already knew about this message. But however, you know, God's spirit all the time changes our lives through uh, you know, his inspiration in terms of your context or your life situation. So let's read together in one voice together. We have one voice. 이사에서 52장 7절부터 9절 한번 읽도록 하겠습니다. 1, 2, 3 How beautiful on the mountains are the feet of those who bring goodness, who proclaim peace, and who bring good tidings, who proclaim salvation, who say to Zion, Your God reigns. Listen, your watchmen lift up their voices. Together they shout for joy. When the Lord returns to Zion, they will see it with their own eyes. Burst into songs of joy together, the ruins of Jerusalem, for the Lord has comforted his people, he has redeemed Jerusalem. Today's main key word, this one, is a redeem, redemption. Redemption means a what? Salvation. 구원. 구원이라는 뜻입니다. So I would like to encourage you guys to listen carefully with this message and remember the key word, what God. He will speak to each one of us here. Goodness. This is a topic is goodness. What kind of good news do you like? You may say, oh, vacation. No homework. I have a girlfriend, boyfriend. Or oh, I have a yongdon, sebetdon. You guys are welcoming, maybe like 설날, right? The Chinese New Year. You're going to get some yongdon, 할머니, 할아버지, right? This is God's messengers. Uh, this is the main topic because God has called you and I as His messengers who can deliver His goodness to everyone or share this great opportunity with many people in the world. This is the question from myself. What makes you are more excited? What makes you more excited? So there are many moments you're really excited or bored or kind of tired or a lot of mixed feelings you may have. The question is this one. What kind of situation or what kind of moments makes you more excited? 여러분 가장 흥분되는 그런 순간들이 무엇일까라는 질문을 한다면 maybe you may say no classes. 그렇지 않을까? Do you like? Yes or no? Oh, thank you. I like it. Let you hear it about yes and no. No classes, you know. Um, when I was a college student, a freshman year, um, it was a kind of like, you know, tiring moment and a lot of kids, I mean, the college students still, I call them as a kids. You know, they're really mature, by the way. Like, you know, better than you, but you know, in terms of my perspective, still, they need a lot of help. Um, one day we were waiting for the professor and uh, you know people that coming oh you know what I haven't completed my homework we talk about homework it's still college students and oh, I wish I could go home you know no classes and suddenly one guy was like running from the that hall area the running and then he opened the door with his kind of like his strong voice proclaimed this said today's ca class has been canceled and then everyone said, Yoo-hoo! He shouted because this message. Our professor is sick. The week we also cry out and woohoo, hallelujah, praise the Lord. This is not good news, but everyone really happy. One reason, no class. We don't care about the sickness of the professor. That's not good, by the way. Are you happy with, the, with this message when you hear about, all right, no class? Because Dr. Lee is sick? <laughs> okay, all right. No class anymore. Dr. Lee is in the hospital right now. So maybe, <laughs> maybe. Why? Because we want to play. And some students said, uh, you know, vacation. Ah, <laughs> oh, why I need to go to school today? I want to still, you know, under my bed and sleep more, you know. And also another this one is like, oh, no homework. You know, I, in my class time, especially younger students about teaching Bible class, I give them some coloring stuff. It's really easy stuff, right? Even the, uh, the puzzle or word search. 
And I said, at the last minute in the class time, it will be your homework. And really? And they stay until the, what, the bells ring. They just try to finish up the, all the rest of parts of homework because they don't want to bring that homework to their home or in the classroom. They want to finish up as soon as, as soon as possible. Because no one wants to get any academic pressure. Even younger students, the older students too, same feeling. And even the adults too. I don't want to bring my workload to the uh, even home and working on my work, I mean the at home. Wow, it's really too much work. But no homework really makes them make it excited. And maybe high school kids, you may not know that I was seeing the students working on the, their college application right now, almost finished and waiting for the, their results pretty soon by March, you know, maybe good news or sad news, a lot of mixed feeling. Even high school students from 9th grader to 11th grader, uh, you are working taking the, uh, some SAT mock test. And even some middle school, you know, SAT, uh, the TOEFL, you know, even PSAT, there's a lot of mock test. Wow, because not many reasons, but you know, one of the reasons is this one, the college. And when you get excited, I mean, they get, you know, they're accepted, you're really excited. But you, you don't want to be stressful. Why? A lot of pressure, burden you may have through this one. So, well, however, when you achieve your goal, it makes you really, really happy. You may say, thank you, my mom and dad, your grandma, grandfather, even teachers. Say, what you have done for me. Even thank God. You could just praise the Lord. Make you feeling quite different. I'm, I'm pretty sure, you see? Like, we talk about Jesus, we talk about college, but oh. And then, t 17, woohoo! Right? It's hot, hot, hot. Am I correct? Uh. I forgot the lyrics, by the way. It's like, something drip, dripping, right? Is it drop it? I'm kind of old, by the way. Anyway, to me, it's like, it looks the same. It's like, do you remember, memorize their names, by the way? Uh, raise your hand, please. Anyone? Who's the first person guy on the left side, this guy? Who? Uji? Oh, okay, thank you, by the way. Do you remember Jesus' names, like Jesus' disciples, 12 disciples? I'm curious about that. Anyway, it makes you really happy when you listen about maybe 17 or other boy bands or the girl bands, even the uh, uh, Jungkook. Standing next to you. I, I'm seeing sing this one, right? It's a stand up. And they're like this. It's the Kedari Chung, right? It's like. Anyway, there's a lot of even the white girls and the, you know African American people, like all the nations, they they listen, enjoy listening to this guy. Don't follow his the tattoo, okay? By the way, sorry. Um, so um, you know, everyone's really happy, and somehow make you guys uh, feel like happy or excited, something like that. Why? Because you like it. You like it. Last one, ETA, ET. Our middle school kids, I would sometimes watch it. Their dance performance. Uh, it's just make. As you can watch it anyway. So Minji, I didn't know that Minji we do have Kim Minji. All right, Jeannie. Oh, I didn't know she's really popular person. Okay, we have some Minjis, but oh. Here we go, ETA, you represent our school. By the way, you know the, have you, ever, have you ever heard about this message? Tesla, new model Y, its name is Juniper. Can you hear that? Oh, you gotta, see, you know that the, the, this one, but not the, the, the latest news about the automobiles. Anyway, Minji, ETA, makes you excited or happy, right? This is our school, the, uh, the so it's King Camp last month, actually. This is the, uh, the moment we about to you know, go down the hill. On the right side is the who? The me. Uh, I, I love actually uh, the snowboarding, by the way. So um, it makes me really, really excited. Seriously, on the hill area, the white snow, everything's white. Wow, it makes me peaceful. Seriously, really relax. It's something ever in a feeling that I, I never ever felt that so uh, that's why i go to the i really want to go to the uh, the mountain area especially the snowboarding time until maybe it's age 60 i'm gonna enjoy by the way so anyway so let me ask this question what makes you excited and this question in 2024 
Juniper Winter School? It's quite a different question, right? You're going to have uh, three weeks every day from 9 to 3.30 p.m. So you're going to come here, and then you're going to see your teachers and you know, students, your friends, about in a few hours every day. Then what makes you more excited for the next three weeks from now on? Maybe a musical. It's been about 12 times, 12, you know, it's like musical. It's ex really, really exciting. We're gonna be excited to see your you know, musical performance, right? Uh, and then the, uh, some, some younger students, you know, help, you know, maybe uh, you know, have some help from older students, older students help, younger students, a lot of teamwork, we're gonna see that. In the meanwhile, you know, the enrichment, you know, TOEFL, SAT, PSAT, SSAT, and then I'm gonna have a one-on-one -on -one meeting, a really exciting time, right? So with your data, wow, hallelujah, yeah. So um, let me go back to the uh, this one. What makes you excited for the next three weeks is this one. The most, the, every single moment, God makes you as what? God's messenger. I want to remember, I want you to remember this calling, special calling from God. Even next three weeks, even into your lives, God has called you as His messenger who delivered His great news. Story of Israel. Entire his, uh, Israel's history is pretty bad. Bad, you know, all the sad or it's like pain. You know, enter their history is a, they lost their country a few times. Even the, uh, they lost their freedom. No opportunity to listen to God, His voice. Because the one reason is this one, this obedience. 불순종을 인해서 하나님께서 이스라엘 백성에게 큰 재앙을 내리신 것 중에 하나가 바로 국가를 뺏기고 자유를 뺏기고 그 다음에 많은 것을 잃어버리는 그런 교통을 받게 되었습니다. Only one reason, disobedience. God command us what to do. Ten commandments, every day, listen, follow, obey. However, they didn't listen. They didn't listen. This is the, uh, the map that, you know, about old time ago, you know, the Old Testament time. It's Assyria. It's like, today's probably uh, US or some strong country, you know, military, the power, political power, they occupied all the, you know, this area. So um, this area, which means including the Israel, so they occupied, they attacked, you know, uh, Israel, and they make them as what? Colonization. At this time, actually, the book of Isaiah was written by the prophet, uh, prophet Isaiah. It talks about this one. Two main theme is what? Repentance. Please. Come to God. Repent your sin. You disobey, disobedience made you this situation. Repent. And the next one is be faithful. Why? God is alive. God is you know, faithful. He's going to help you out. Don't forget this, what He you know, has done for you. And he started about this message. Let me read this one. How beautiful, how beautiful on the mountains are the feet of those who bring goodness, who proclaim peace, who bring good thing, tidings, who proclaim salvation, who say to Zion, your God reigns. Long time ago, during the uh, colonization of the uh, Assyria, somehow the, uh, God sent the, good, uh, the messenger who brings his voice. It is called what? Your God reigns even today. So the messenger, he ran. He went through desert. He went through a river. He went through a lot of you know, difficult you know, situations, environments. Imagine about his feet, messenger's feet. Here, look at these pictures. Probably bare feet. Bare you know, feet, you know, he ran or she ran maybe million, million miles, a million, million kilometers. He ran like more than the marathon. But like the Bible, uh, the book of Isaiah mentioned about this, how beautiful. On the mountains are the feet of those who bring good news. Physically, probably really smelly. Physically, really dirty. But in terms of God's perspective, His feet 
is what? It's beautiful. One reason, bring the good news for those who need God, those who need help, salvation, and what? The tiding, good tidings and what? Our God, your God, still in control, is alive. Who want to give blessing to you and this nation? That's why it's beautiful. And the other one is the watchman. Somehow the messenger, the messenger, he bring the good news and then he proclaim to what? whom? There is the audience. It is called watchman. So you are going to share your gospel, your message, your voices to whom? Your friends, right next to your person. Your, your parents, right next to your, maybe your, home, your, your home. Your teachers. Your teachers bring the good news. As a messenger, you are the what? Watchman. The what? You hear that? Lift up their voices. Together they shout for joy. Whenever they listen to good news, that what? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God is alive. And when the Lord returns to Zion, they will see it with their own eyes burst into the songs of the joy together. You ruins of Jerusalem, for the Lord has comforted his people. He has redeemed Jerusalem. Which means what? They will shout, praise the Lord. One reason. God's salvation. His hope, his blessing will be upon them on our nation, our lives, each one of us here. I want to encourage you guys, for the next three weeks, even since we uh, come to relocate to this location, our job, one of our main job is what? Share the gospel, your education, your English skills, even all the global perspectives and the cultures, share this one with many people, even our neighbors. When we proclaim this message as messengers, your watchmen, your neighbors, your friends, and then be realized what? God is alive. God is what? Is being controlled. So we praise the name and we worship the name with this one. Together, they shout for joy, burst into songs of joy together. For the next three weeks, you and I, messengers, they shout to the joy, they share the gospel and love together in the name of Christ. And your audience, watchmen, will be worshiping our Jesus Christ together. Let's pray our hands.